Okay, horror of horrors. I have a bee on the inside of my bee suit. How the heck it got there? I don't know. Could it have crawled through the zip and up? But I think it crawled up my leg from the bottom and up to the top. So how do you get rid of it? Well, if I take my gloves off, now I'm gonna get mullered by the bees that are here because these gloves sweat. And when you take your gloves off, they love the soft skin because it's so easy to bite and sting, you know? So what I'll do is I'll leave that on. And what I want to do is basically find this bee. And if you get a bee in your bee suit, don't panic. Face towards the sunshine because bees will want to try and escape most of the time. And if you take your suit off, you will get hammered and you will wish you'd never done. I've seen beginning beekeepers panic when they've got a bee in their suit. They take their gloves off. What's the first thing? Their, ham their hands get hammered. Then they're doing this. Uh, their hands are full. Then they end up 150 yards, 200 meters down the road because the, the bees follow them. What happens when you run? The bees follow your scent, you're hot, you're sweaty. Just think about it. It's better to cop one sting from the inside, it is, than get stung by all the others. So what do you do? You find the bee, where's it gone? It's right around here. Okay, there it is. It's not ideal. You just clamp it and squash it when you can. There it is, right, got it. No, I haven't, not yet. Right, got it now. Still haven't got it. There it is, it's dead now in the bottom. So I didn't get stung because I've done this so many times. I've had so many bees in my suit. You just don't panic, all right? It's just chill. You take your gloves off and you're gonna get an absolute hiding. <laughs> Speak to you again soon. Bye for now.